Hey everyone, last week we talked about what is a megapixel, so this week we're going to answer the question, how does film work? Hey David, I don't really understand film. How does it work? We're going to talk in the most basic sense about film, conceptually how it works, because these principles apply to all film, whether you're shooting black and white, reversal or slide film or color print or color negative film. Depending on what you call it, slide and reversal are the same, color print and color negative are the same. So whatever type of film you're shooting, these principles apply to the film. So let's say you took some film and you cut it and you looked at the side with a microscope. This is what you would see. This is not to scale, but here would be a clear plastic or generally clearish plastic base and on that is a layer of gelatin with lots and lots and lots of little silver crystals in it. Now the silver crystals have been treated in such a way that they're light sensitive. When photons travel through your lens, through your camera, and hit the crystals, what's going to happen is that they're going to cause a chemical reaction in your crystals which causes the crystal's property to change. <laughs> One photon isn't going to change a crystal's property, otherwise all your film would always be completely black but enough photons hitting the crystals over and over again will trigger in them a change which causes them to turn a shade of black. That is uh, the, the process behind your negative. Light hits it, it turns black. That's why on your negative the bright areas look dark and the shadow areas look clear. In the bright areas a ton of photons were coming in and hitting the film causing it to turn dark. In the shadow areas very few photons, relatively, were coming in and hitting the film, so it didn't turn dark. So that's the basic way in which film operates. This is a black and white film. Some black and white films have a second layer to add tone as well, serve a different function. Color films have multiple layers. So again, if you took a piece of color film and cut it, this is kind of what the cross-section might look like. The color film cross-sections are actually significantly more complex than this, but this is good for concept demonstration. What's going to happen is you're going to get just a whole bunch of photons that are going to shoot down from the stars or the light bulb or wherever their source is and hit the film. So blue photons, blue colored photons, light that has hit a blue object and the blue light has been reflected away from it will be absorbed first just because of the way that the emulsion is structured the blue light is absorbed the green light passes through the blue layer and the green light is absorbed in the green layer then lastly the red light passes straight through the green and blue layers and is absorbed in the red. Now this is of course again a super oversimplification, but this is the concept of how it works. When What happens is when you now get your film developed, all of the silver is washed out and the silver some of the, and some dyes are either added or removed and depending on, on the process. And what happens is that you're left with a negative image. 